Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News. And yes, another first boot with you guys. And today, I'm doing another 13.10 Beta 1 UI version. Again, uh, Ubuntu came out with four different UIs. And today, I'm doing Kubuntu. Okay, uh, so let's, let's boot this up. I'm going to go to edit my virtual machine like always I'm always doing everything on virtual machines because I don't have the hardware to test all this stuff out I have a uh, Kubuntu folder somewhere there it goes right here and I downloaded the Kubuntu 13.10 beta 1 desktop 86 bit they do have the 64 bit I will place the link at the bottom of the video at the description part so you guys can get a copy of it so let's uh, let me mount it and let's boot it up okay it looks like it's booting up pretty awesome it's pretty interesting that every time I do these first boot with Ubuntu with the different versions at least uh, the background in the startup is different you know, that's one thing that catches my eye oh and we're at the welcome screen wow this is this is pretty shiny <laughs> I don't know I like I already so far I really like the feel of this uh, this version of this UI version again Guys, leave comments below and let me know what version do you like the most. Do you like Kubuntu, Zubuntu, Ubuntu, or Lubuntu? Uh, let me know which version do you like. Uh, I don't know which one. I, I don't. I can't decide. There's so many versions. Uh, as always, I like to install. I don't like to try it out. The only time I use a tryout is when I, I don't know. I don't even know when I use the tryout. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm not going to install a third party and I'm not going to download updates. Again, this is for testing wise. So hit, let's hit continue. Uh, again, I'm not going to do any uh, LVU, LVM, which is a logical volume management. I'm not going to do that or encrypt it. So I'm just going to leave it as an entire disk. Just erase it. Uh, install. And it looks like it's doing this thing at the bottom right here. That's pretty cool. Th this is one thing I love about Ubuntu and any Linux operating system you could actually configure it while it's copying and installing the files that's one of the greatest things I love about Linux platform uh, I'm gonna hit continue because this is where I'm located in New York look at the keyboard this is this is pretty cool too this is pretty new uh, the other UIs didn't have like an interface that it shows you so that's I, I mean I want to want to play around with this for a while let's see Let's go to Dutch. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? It changes the layout. It looks the same to me. Let's go back to English, US, and we stick with that. And we're going to hit continue. And it's time to type in who you are. So, BJ Tech News is all I always do that. Okay. And a password. Let's enter the password. And let's confirm the password. Again, make sure you confirm the password correctly. The only thing I don't like about this, it doesn't give you a green check mark indicating that uh, the password is uh, okay. But it's okay with me. Let's give it a name. I'm going to go BJ Kubuntu. Go. Uh, require my password to log in. Again, like I said on the previous video, I normally do this only when my testing environment. I do not do this or I don't recommend doing this when you're at a production uh, environment. Uh, we're going to hit continue. And I guess that's it. Now it's finishing up copying the files. Uh, I have about 61% to go. And uh, once it completes, let's see how it looks and feel. Once the copying and the installation is completed, you're going to get this nice little dialog box as always. I don't know. I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm kind of liking this UI version for Ubuntu for some reason. You know, they got the nice little shiny blue. It's like glowing. Got the outer glow, inner glow kind of effect. This is, I don't know. I kind of like this this version of Kubuntu than the other ones. I don't know. Uh, I probably like it because my favorite color is blue and black. I don't know. Whatever. So let's uh, restart this bad boy and let's see what happens. That's uh, I like, you know, look at the, the background screen looks nice and pretty. Yeah, I know I said pretty. Okay. And I guess we're back and this is new to me. This is really strange and new to me. I, Am I logged in? What is this? Is this is this still loading up? Oh wow, this is this is pretty cool, man. This is I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of speechless. This is what is going on? This folder is empty. Desktop. Whoa! Wow, I'm kind of enjoying this UI. Come on, man. I know I sound like a noob, 
and you know I do apologize for that. But this is pretty cool, man. Like always, the first thing I normally do when I do first boot with you guys is what? I like to change my display. So let's uh, locate the display and see how you do that because I am completely confused right now of how to change the display. This is pretty cool. I don't I don't even know what to say. This this version has like like widgets and panels and all that crazy stuff. Display, display configuration. That's what I was trying to do. But it's not giving me what I want. Oh here it goes. Okay, okay. I'm getting it. Somewhat. Uh they never have twelve eighty by seven twenty. They always have twelve eighty by seven sixty eight. So let's Let's pick that and uh, auto for the Hertz and let's apply it so that that looks that looks pretty decent yeah so I'm pretty excited with this this is I don't know what to say this is the first time me actually using this type of version of any Linux prop platform uh, I know a lot of you have probably used this in the past, so I'm kind of wondering what your opinions are. Again, leave comments below and let me know which version of Ubuntu you like the most for 13.10 Beta 1. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first boot with me. I know this is a new boot, but hey, a first boot. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom of the video. And don't forget about hitting that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.